The Strange Love of Martha Ivers is a noir film that I wanted to check out because it has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. And then I realized that this film predates Rotten Tomatoes, so it doesn't matter. Either way, I still wanted to watch it. It's considered one of the noir greats. It starts off with a, um, couple, a trio of teenagers. Headstrong uh, Martha always runs away from home. And uh, then there's the streetwise orphan Sam who always brings her sandwiches and helps her hide out until eventually they're found by the police. They go back to the house on one stormy, rainy night, and uh, Walter, the sort of prissy, do-goody son of the school teacher, told the police where they were. He's always willing to do the right thing and, and listen to his father at all times. However, something happens, and Sam runs away. Seventeen years later, he is driving by, and he wrecks his car. So he goes to get it fixed and decides to just hang around town, see what's going on. He hasn't been there for a while, and he finds out that Walter is actually now the district attorney. And uh, while he's chilling out at this old orphanage sort of boarding house that he used to grew up in, uh, he meets a young woman uh, who's down on her luck. They hit it off. They connect a little bit. They decide uh, she's going to join them when the car's fixed. However, she has a rap sheet on her and a mysterious pass of her own, so he's got to help her get out of this situation. And uh, it just keeps getting further and further sucked in. Sam just keeps getting roped into situations. So what I liked about this movie is that all of the characters have their wants and needs and they're always in conflict with each other. Sam just wants to get out of town with his new friend. However, Walter and Martha are married now, a strange couple. And we find out why they, they share a, a very sinister secret and they can't tell anyone. Now, this film doesn't have too much action going on with it, but it doesn't need it. It has the intrigue, it has the emotional sort of character build up from before, and then what's happening now. It's a very interesting movie about human nature. I really like the performances. This would have uh, Kirk Douglas in his first on-screen debut, as well as the wonderful Barbara Stanwyck and Van Heflin. Also, this would be my first Liza Elizabeth Scott movie. She is absolutely dreamy in this film. So The Strange Love of Martha Ivers is a very strong noir film with uh, fantastic performances, a really good story. It fuels it for the entire runtime. So I give it an 8 out of 10.